Hey everyone, this is Dalton at Dalton NCFs, and yes, at the time of this recording, I'm still sick. It's the same day that I started off with the Blades reviews, so here we've got Rook. He is very nice looking. We've got the comic right there. Again, that Protectobot blue. Here comes the right arm, or left arm of, of wow, Sam Bruticus, of Defensor, but I'm going to have him as the right leg. We'll see more of that when I do get Hotspot. And we've got him here, nine steps, and it says here, if you need to rescue deep behind enemy lines or deep beneath battlefield rubble, Rook can get get it done. His Durabilium super alloy armor can withstand punishing blasts and hold up under crushing weight. And his vast tactical knowledge can get him out of any jam. So there's that. Let's get this guy open and go from there. Okay, and here we have Rook out of his packaging. As you can see, is a very big, well, yeah, chunky, SWAT APC, and it does roll pretty well. All six wheels roll nicely, except for these front ones when you have it on a regular surface. I mean, you can kind of tell, like right there, it's not exactly rolling very well. It's because of the gaps right there with the clip on wheels. Whereas this section doesn't have it, and these are a different type of wheel than these. Just pop that off. It's got the hole there, and the clip there. But you pop one of these off, peg there, hole there. So, just thought I'd point that out. You also got some nice paint apps right here. It says, please, you got your gas cans, or, you know, diesel cans, or whatever they are. You got a little silver axe right there. A couple of, I'm guessing those are oxygen tanks or hydraulic tanks for the little jaws of life right there. Not a lot of nice paneling and little hatch details, you got that there, you got a door right here nice yellow headlights some windows molded in, or, or painted in and then you've got the and this isn't even painted, it's actually an opening for a little view there you got that port which you can take the little weapon here and plug it on now as for the weapon, it's kinda like a little claw but or like a little grabber claw, but it's also meant to look like the Jaws of Life, which, getting into robot mode, I'll explain why this is kind of a dark weapon to be using for, you know, a Cybertronian. So. And he does come with the instruction booklet, same as the others, just unfolds, and yeah. And as for the comic book, you get... The Transformers Robots in Disguise number 34, which is number 10 in the Combiner Wars comic series as far as the you know, pack-in comics. And you get the little designer thing right here. And you've got all this information. So you can read that. So let's get that out of the way. And one little comparison is him with another little APC vehicle, and that is Breacher here. I mean, it's not fair to compare a Scout to a Deluxe, but at least there's a good amount of size difference between the two. Now, transformation is fun and simple, just like all the Commander Wars figures. Let's go out here. Want to pop this up, bring it back to about there. Want to untab these sections here and fold those down and out of the way. Those will become the arms. Flip this up, that will become the head. Rotate this up, and it'll just double hinge into place. Rotate these feet up, they're also on a double hinge. Want to split the legs apart. And again, another double hinge into place. Let's straighten out the arms here. And rotate the head around. And there you've got Rook in robot mode. And he does look really good. I mean, compared to the others, he's big, he's bulky. It just works really well, in my opinion. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is, well, I'll get into it in a minute, but going on to the head mold. It is a nicely sculpted head. has kind of an, a Russia Ushanka, but it's also got this little bar right through the middle, so I don't know what's going on there. It's supposed to, is it like a helmet mixed with a Ushanka, or I don't know. But I do like it, I like how they have the Autobot symbol. I do like this these blue paint apps here on the chest. And the wheels on the chest are pretty cool too. 
Another thing I wish is if this was molded in black plastic. It just, but I do like that it breaks it up. So, as far as articulation goes, and actually before we go into that, the fists are molded to where there's a cannon on the front. We can also plug this in, just like so, so we can use that. Okay, going on to articulation, I'll talk more about this. Head is on a ball joint, rotates around and crazy. I do like the silver paint apps on the face and the little tiny blue eyes. Looks really good. He's kind of got a it's kind of a scowl going on. He's also got big ball jointed shoulders. You can also rotate these back for extra shoulder movement, so kind of like a shoulder blade type thing. Rotates here at the bicep, bends uh, just a little over 90 degrees at the elbow. Nothing at the wrist, obviously. Rotates 180 at the waist, which is pretty tight. And let me. Hips are on a ball joint, and the only thing I don't like about how this is done is the thighs are really thin. I wish they could have done a little bit better with that. But they are on a ball joint. They do swivel. And he bends 90 degrees at the knee. He also has ankle tilt, which none of the other deluxes, and I don't even, yeah, none of the Voyagers have them either. So I'm actually surprised about that. And you can also articulate the foot to where it looks like it's got a little bit of a forward tilt, but not bad. And kind of upset about the hollowness, but I am okay with it with how the transformation works. And of course you got the backpack, which it works as kind of like an armor plating for when he's going to rescue someone in case a building explodes or something. Also, really nice tampographed Autobot symbol just stands out really well and nice and shiny. Now, on to the weapon. What I think is really dark about this is, since it's the Jaws of Life, it works both ways. He could use this to lop off someone's limb, or shove it in one of their chests, rip it open, and rip out their spark. If you think about that for a protectabot, that's kind of dark and twisted. I like it. <laughs> as far as, you know, the combiner weapon, you can plug it in up here. You can't really plug it in normally, like, as a gun. And one thing I forgot to mention with it, in vehicle mode. And I forgot to show it off in vehicle mode, so let's go ahead and rotate that. Basically, in vehicle mode, you can plug it into one of these ports on top. Or, there's a hole right here molded into the bottom of it. To where you can give it kind of that universe onslaught look. Which, I like that. Or, if you want to be comedic, you can turn this into the combiner hand and plug it right in. You've got a giant hole can. And we'll give him another one. So it can be all like, Rook Smash, Rook Smash. I don't know. But I guess that is a fun thing to do, in case you don't know what to do with these. As far as other uses for this, I mean, I can kind of barely see this being used as Brawl. I mean, if they did something different with this, gave them some heavy retooling, possibly a Brawl, if they don't do, you know, a full new mold. But as far as other characters, I can probably also see this as a nose cone if they remold all these wheels into fake treads and maybe do something different with the top of this to where it looks like one little cockpit. Then give him a, a drill weapon instead of a, you know, little hook. I mean, like, use this. Put a drill on the end of it. I don't know. So, that's enough of me rambling. Let's get this guy into his limb mode. For arm mode, you just basically want to plug his legs together and turn most of them back into vehicle mode. You want to rotate these arms back and around. Just like so on both arms. And you rotate this up to where these little tabs right here will plug right into those little slots there on the shoulders. Just like so. Rotate the head around and that will plug away there. And you've got Plug that into there. You've got yourself an arm for Defensor. Which, it's not bad looking. I wish some of the other details were, you know, I wish I had more details on the back of the, you know, this part, back of the legs. I mean, you could do it like this, except you'd only have one joint there, and it's kind of messy. I just want a little bit more molded detail, not quite so extensive like right here. But, Oh well, it's nice, and I'm not going to have him as an arm anyway, I'm going to have him as a leg. So let's go ahead and fold this up as a foot. And turning him back into a foot, I mean, it's like the arm mode, mostly vehicle. Just, just you know, double hinge those back together. 
just like so. Put in the foot and straighten up the knee. There it is. He's got a very big upper shin, very big kneecap. And you can even make it bigger, make it even bigger by putting groove right here. I need to get groove so I can show that off, but it's possible. And it does, it looks alright as a leg. I mean, I need to see it on hotspot, you know, with the rest as defensor. So we can all take a look at that together and experience it ourselves. So that pretty much does it for Rook. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. You can check out my gallery of this guy on Facebook. Check out my Instagram and my Twitter also down in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time.